thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is the ninth Tuesday after Pentecost. Let us pray. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things which for our unworthiness we dare not and for our blindness we cannot ask through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Mark, the fourth chapter, beginning at the 21st verse. Jesus said to them, Is a lamp brought in to be put under the bushel basket or under the bed and not on the lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be disclosed, nor is anything secret except to come to light. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. And he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. The measure you give will be the measure you get, and still more will be given you. For to those who have, more will be given, and from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. He also said, The kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself, first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. He also said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs, and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nest in its shade. With many such parables he spoke the word to them, as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. Here ends the lesson. Mark continues with the parables of Jesus as he's teaching about his kingdom and our need to respond to what he has to say. Christian disciples have a responsibility to make sure everyone has a chance to know about the ways of God in order that all can choose wisely. Jesus begins today's reading by offering the analogy of the light shown by a lamp on a lampstand and the Word of God. God's Word is not meant to be hidden or withheld, but is to be boldly proclaimed for all to hear. Any effort, whether intentional or out of neglect, to conceal or distort the word and will of God will ultimately fail. Jesus offered this as yet another spiritual truth for all who are willing to learn from it when he said, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. For those who listen and follow, God will give a share in his kingdom now and even more in the end to come. For those who choose to reject his word, the consequence will be absolute loss because the opportunity for a share in the kingdom that is rejected in the present age will one day be taken away completely. In these current times in which we find ourselves, accepting responsibility for our choices in this life is often circumvented by a misguided understanding about rights over responsibility when it comes to our response to God and the ways of God. Mark follows the parable of the lamp with a parable unique to this gospel that provides a comprehensive picture of the coming of God's kingdom. The parable describes the life cycle of sowing, growing, and harvesting, with a particular emphasis on the growing phase of a seed that has been planted in the soil. While the sower is present for all three phases, the seed that is planted germinates, sprouts, and grows outside of the understanding or control of the sower. What brings life is beyond the capacity of human intervention or initiation. God works in the life-bearing seed 
which, when planted in good soil, grows stage by stage and produces grain. The parable can be understood to be a mandate for evangelism as well as a teaching about the spiritual growth of a maturing Christian. This parable offers powerful insights into the coming of God's kingdom by the mysterious and sovereign work of God. The Christian responsibility is to ready ourselves for the harvest to come at the final judgment or parousia. As it says in the 17th chapter of Acts, while God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people everywhere to repent because God the Father has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by Jesus whom he has appointed. And of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. Let us pray. O Heavenly Father, who has filled the world with beauty, open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works, that rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness for the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings.